Um, my name is Natasha Greer. I went to Odahu College here in South Auckland. Um, I was head girl of Odahu College and I met Mrs. Debbie Sorensen, who is the CEO of the Pacifica Medical Association while I was in high school. Um, I've known her pretty much most of my life now and because of her I have this amazing job and um, she helped me get back into health because initially I wanted to be a nurse but because I didn't believe in myself and I didn't actually push to give it a go um, I found my way doing marketing and events for the Pacific Health sector and I love my job and I really encourage everyone else to give a health science career a good go. Uh, success to me is setting yourself a goal and just going for it and not holding back, giving it a real good try and one person that I can think of just at the top of my head is a guy called Dr. Alistair Papali Curtin. Uh, he went through Students Are a Future as well and I remember being really inspired by him because he went through high school and teachers would always say, oh you should give trades the try. or. Um, you know, giving him other options and not anything like medicine, but he really believed in himself and he set himself the goal of um, graduating in medicine and now he's a doctor and so he's, he's graduated and now he's married to a, a girl who's also studying medicine as well and they have an awesome future and it's all because he believed in himself and he set that goal and he really did give it a go and he uh, went through um, a whole lot of studying courses to help him because everyone learns differently and so he went out and did what he could to, to achieve his goal of being a doctor. Yeah. Uh, so recently we've just launched a book and the book is called Nurse Navigators and um, it's not often that you get to hear about uh, Pacific health professionals who have been around for years and who have done really amazing things with the community and with their own Pacific country. Um, a lot of the stories out there in the media are about Pacific Islanders who uh, caught up in jail or like committing crime and there's not a lot of coverage about people who are actually quite successful and who are um, academically achieving well especially in things like medicine and, and Pacific Islanders who are surgeons like those are really amazing careers who are actually changing people's lives and so to actually be a part of that and putting it all together in a book so that other people can read and know about it is really exciting. Um, I was always too scared to make mistakes and so I'd always try to play it safe. Um, uh, but then I realised, or well, looking back now, I know that I was always too scared to try and achieve high and um, I used to think, well maybe I could try and do law but I didn't actually think I could do it. So um, I went ahead and got offered a scholarship um, at AUT and one of the only things that I thought I might be interested in was communications, but even then I didn't even think I could graduate. Um, but uh, something like medicine was never really pushed or encouraged as something that I could do, and I would never even believe that I could do it. But now that I work here, you see that anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it, and especially because um, we offer a support group that can help you get there, and back then I didn't have that, and we didn't have a program like that at all. And so the program Healthcare Heroes offers you the support um, academically and also um, interpersonally as well, just to encourage you in your everyday. Um, and it's also a mental thing, like when you put your mind to it, you actually can do anything. And I never really knew that at all back then, so if there was a mistake that I made, it was I never believed in myself and never pushed myself to aim really high. Mm -hmm. um, what I love about my job is that um, I had initially wanted to get into health while I was in high school and I had a couple of teachers tell me that I wasn't so good at sciences or anything so I just stuck with what I thought I was good at and decided to go and do a degree in communications and so I found my way back into health and now even though I'm not on the front line like the rest of the others like who are doctors and nurses I still get to kind of be in the health sector and it's kind of exciting and I, I love being a part of it we get to travel to places like Fiji and maybe the year after next year we'll be going to Tonga so mm -hmm. I love it <laughs>